Well, hello, Shoreline. Uh, this is your devotional for July 28th, and we are in Proverbs chapter 29. And as I've been doing, I just want to glean a few thoughts to let the Holy Spirit speak to your heart. Something may jump out and kind of grab you and say, that's for you. Something might not connect where you are right now, but keep your heart open and let the Holy Spirit speak to you by the Word of God and impact your life. So here's the first lesson I notice in, in Proverbs chapter 29. Loosen up your neck. Loosen up your neck. Don't have a tight neck. What does that mean? Let's look at verse 1. Whoever remains stiff-necked after many rebukes will suddenly be destroyed without remedy. It's, it's, it's a pretty powerful picture. The point is, if you are stiff, if, if people rebuke, if they question, if they challenge you, if someone dares in a loving way to point out something that might be wrong in your life, if you are stiff-necked, stiff-necked, not flexible, you won't listen or receive, there's a warning. Be careful. This could take you to a very, very bad place. A stiff neck can often be broken, but, but to receive. Now, don't believe everything everyone says, and if someone points out something and they're wrong, you don't have to receive it, but humble your heart, loosen up your neck, and listen. And you just might learn something from someone else, and God might speak to you and help you grow to be more who He wants you to be. Second lesson, be discerning and just. Be discerning and just. Listen to verse 7. The righteous care about justice for the poor, but the wicked have no such concern. Righteous people care about justice for the poor. Here's the point. Be discerning. Not everyone needs a handout. I remember, I remember a woman who was a widow in our church years and years ago, the first church I served in, actually in Michigan. And every year we'd give her a food basket because she was a widow. She was the richest person in the church. She had more money than anybody else. She kept giving the food basket back and saying, stop giving me food baskets. Don't give me gift cards. I'm rich. I put, in, I put, the, or she was or I put the organ in the church building. Stop it. The point was they weren't using discernment. They were saying, well, every widow needs this. Well, she said, I don't need that. Give me love, give me care, but don't give me a food basket and don't give me a gift card. I've got a lot of money. Use discernment, but show justice. For people who are poor and oppressed and excluded, they need care. And so show justice for those people. Third lesson, be a calm, angry person. Be a calm, angry person. And, and here's what the passage says. This is verse 11 of Proverbs 29. Fools give full vent to their rage, but the wise bring calm in the end. We're all going to have moments where we're angry, but you can be a calm, angry person. In the New Testament, we're told, be angry, but do not sin. Don't let the sun go down on your anger. When you deal with those deep feelings, when something is frustrating, when something brings you anger, anger is not a sin. It's how you respond. Be angry, but do not sin. So don't give full vent to your anger. Don't let it flow out. Stop. Be calm. Even when you're frothing around inside and make wise decisions, speak wise words, and you'll be glad that you did. Lord Jesus, thank you for your word. Thank you for Proverbs. Thank you for Proverbs chapter 29 and, and these three simple lessons. Speak to our hearts, impact our lives, and make us who you want us to be through the wisdom of your word. We pray in Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you. We'll see you at, for worship on Sunday, uh, and whether you're online or whether you're in the church building. We love you, and we'll see you then.